Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we have another unboxing video for you from the AOC and this time we have the G2 series monitor. If you guys remember, we have done the unboxing of a very similar model which was Q2 7G2S on our channel but this one is the EU version so it means this one comes with a little bit extra features so we will unbox this, we will set it up and we will talk about all the details and the specification and put this monitor on the test so let's unbox this and see what do we have inside so as usual we have in the front all the instructions very carefully written here so how to take this monitor out and we have some instructions inside to how to set up your arm and all these things first thing first you do you put it down just like this and take out your monitor carefully here there you go so everything is out in one shot first of all they have the manual and more quick start guide for you guys here then after that we have the cables there is the one hdmi cable then there is one display cable then of course the power cable then we have the arm for the monitor yeah looks very cool very very steady then we have the base of this which is also oh i noticed one thing their base usually is the gray color this one is the black color oh because it's the eu version maybe it looks so cool after that tada we have a monitor in front of us so as i always say in my videos be careful when you take it out you don't want to break the screen even if it's a straight screen or the curved screen the best way of doing it take the arm while it's inside and just clip it here just like that there we go, simple as that. Then to put the base while still keeping that inside, just put it here and screw the base just like that. Then after that, you just hold it. Oh, this one is also very light, like my previous video. And then we have it here already outside. You wanna do a reveal? Here we go, we reveal it for you, ta-da. So if, like my previous video, I would like to tackle this part first, which always people say in the comment section that how you can adjust this monitor. So let me show you. First of all, you can definitely go down and you can come up as well like that. You can move it to you any direction you want it to be. And you can actually do this part as well. All right. And the best part, this one, you can have a portrait version like that. So simple, so easy. This is how I use in my home. One is in landscape and one is a portrait mode. So super, super cool stuff. So let's set this up and then we talk about all the crazy specs this monitor has to offer. All right guys, so I have set up already. It's super simple, just put it there and we are done. So before we start to talk about its specs, I would like to talk about a little bit more on the VESA mount. Again, a lot of people do ask this question as well. So this one comes with the 100 mm by 100 mm mount. So you can actually adjust to a lot of arms, standard arms, the wall mounts or whatever if you like. Height adjustments for this one is 130 mm. Swivel is minus 30 degree to 30 degree and pivot is zero degree to 90 degree plus minus 2 degree and tilt is minus 5 degree to 23 degrees 90 degree pivot means you can set the monitor to a vertical which i showed you guys previously as well let's talk about a little bit of the ports that what kind of ports they provide they have the two into hdmi 2.0 ports one into a display 1.4 port available one powerpoint of course and of course they have the headphone port also for your headphone jacks and all these things and if you want to use that full 165 hertz you can always use the display port to get the best out of that then the hdmi port if you're using you will get up to maximum 144 hertz refresh rate so let's talk about a little bit more specs and features the q27 g2s eu version is a 27 inch display with a qhd resolution 2560 by 1440 which is the fast becoming the standard popular resolution it boasts a solid one millisecond response time to avoid simmering during fast moving action the real difference between this new easy version is that refresh rate is increased from 155 hertz to 165 hertz to really give you the edge when playing fast paced games like apex or valorant or any fps game so the q27 g2s easy version uses an ips panel which means you get a great ring angles of up 
278 degree by 178 degree. The IPS panel also provides a wide range of 1.07 billion display colors with an impressive color gamut of sRGB 130%. Most LED backlight monitors uses a PWM which is the pulse width modulation system to adjust the brightness which is easy to implement and is cost effective. But using PWM causes flickering in the screen which can result in the eye discomfort over time. However, this issue version uses a direct current backlight system to provide a better viewing experience that more comfortable to your eyes even when adjusting brightness. Lastly, this monitor is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. To understand why is important, let me dive a little into some technical concepts. So your GPU renders frames in a varied rate that can fluctuate. But when the rendered frame rate doesn't match the refresh rate of your monitor, you will see issues like screen tearing where the monitor shows the next frame before the current frame even finishes causing a tear on the screen. We think in games help reduce screen tearing by locking your GPU rendering frame rates to your monitor's refresh rate, 60 FPS to 60 Hz for example. The issue is if your GPU frame rate goes below 60 FPS, the monitor adds extra still frames to keep up its 60 Hz, causing your screen to lag. So this issue is known as stuttering. However, NVIDIA G-Sync dynamically adjusts your monitor's refresh rate to sync with your GPU's rendered frame rate at all times. So this means your monitor always displays one frame at a time and your GPU doesn't have to keep up with the constant refresh rate. This provides a smooth display without screen tearing and stuttering. Now that you have a PhD in monitor concepts including myself, let's move on to the cool stuff you guys can do with this particular monitor. So this monitor has a lot of different game mode settings. Starting off, you can select from six different color presets depending on the type of game you are playing. We have FPS, RTS, and racing presets along with three custom profiles you can set by yourself. And other setting you can enable is AOC's low input lag mode, which tells the monitor to focus on the response time which is very important for the FPS games. The last setting you can play with is the AOC game color. With this, you can adjust color saturation and gray levels with multiple levels of details for a better digital experience. And they have a lot of other settings you guys can play around in the menu, so you'll be very happy with that. So 155Hz has been always an awkward refresh rate for the Q27 G2S, so it's satisfying to finally see the upgrade to 165Hz with this new EG version. The various feats this monitor has definitely made it a solid choice for gamers. Alright guys, I hope I have covered most of the amazing features of this monitor. So if you guys know wanna more about it, I'll be dropping the link in the description of their website to find even more in detail and if you want to see the pricing and all that you'll be able to find on the website and this is our new tech channel so don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can know whenever we will be doing another unboxing or all the amazing tech gadgets all these things will be coming to this channel as well so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye